Let's learn how we can upgrade our AI agents by creating MCPs that can connect to any API found on the internet. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use Speakeasy's new platform here called Gram. Welcome back, y'all. Today's video is sponsored by Speakeasy. They reached out to me and they're like, Corbin, we got a pretty big update. I said, what's the update? And they said they released Gram here, which allows us to build out fully customizable MCPs. And after using it, I have to admit this cloud MCP platform is probably one of the best I've seen. It really allows you to create a nice little mosaic masterpiece of different blocks of APIs you can find on the internet and connect them all together to create an awesome toolkit, which then your AI agent can use, whether it's in Cursor AI, Claude, ChatGBT. Therefore, let's check this out step by step how we do this let's hit start building i'll make sure i leave a link to the platform in the description down below but what we're going to do first here is set up our mcp server we're going to say get started now step one here is what api do you want to connect to i'll also leave appify in the description down below this is a store that essentially we can connect to a bunch of different apis whether that is a google map scraper a website content crawler facebook ad library scraper whatever it is you simply come to this site, type it in. So in today's video, we're gonna be leveraging the YouTube one, the YouTube scraper. Therefore, in this video, you're gonna learn how to integrate any API found on Appify, and in addition, any API documentation that exists on the internet, as we'll be integrating Bumpos API as well. So first things first, we gotta get the spec here. To do that, go ahead and sign up for a free account on Appify. I'm just gonna choose YouTube scraper here. What I'm looking for here is the top right, hit the open API definition. This is gonna give us the relevant specifications needed in order to attach that to our MCP. Don't make this difficult, y'all. Essentially, what this file is that we're about to download and give to Graham here is all the different actions that are specific to the API. So for this YouTube one, it's essentially like, can we grab the title of the video? Can we grab the duration of the video? Can we grab the thumbnail data for the video? Just simple stuff like that, little actions you'll see here. This will be a little bit more crystal clear once we do the bump ups as well, as I'll show you a one by one comparison. But for now, I'm gonna copy. To make our lives easy, instead of us needing to create a new file in the IDE, I'm just gonna ask Cursor to do it for us. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna paste that, and simply say this. I'm gonna say, okay, see these open API specs, make it so I could download as a .json. I pasted it above here and hit enter. Now you might be asking, Corbin, how'd you know it was a .json? If you come back over to Graham, right above my head, you'll see it accepts .yaml, .yml, and .json. In theory, we could also just go into our IDE here, create a new file, .yaml, and paste it that way, or .json, and paste it that way. In addition, if you don't have access to Cursor AI, just use any AI model and essentially ask for the exact same thing. And there we go. It saved it to my desktop. So let's go ahead and start here. I'm going to go ahead and drag it into here. Boom. We're gonna give it a very specific name here. So honestly, the name it gave it was pretty good, but what does say YouTube scraper is fine. Continue. Next, it's going to have all the relevant actions. So I know these look a little confusing. Don't worry, we're just gonna hit continue here. And essentially what we can do is we're gonna be able to rename those to specifically what we care about. This is gonna be our slug for our MCP. This is how we're gonna reference it. This is fundamentally pretty important here. And because I'm gonna create a pretty cool one here that is a multi-layer MCP that accesses different APIs for a very specific action, we're gonna name it this, YouTube Grab. As we're not only gonna be leveraging a YouTube scraper, but we're also gonna be leveraging Bump Ups API here, which allows us to chat with YouTube videos, ask for timestamps for YouTube videos, takeaways, everything like this. So hit continue. Perfect, now that we've created our MCP server, I can click into it. There's gonna be a bunch of settings we're gonna jump around here, but first, let's just configure our actions. And these tools are the different things that the actor can do. So we got YouTube Scraper, Run Sync Streamers, YouTube Scraper. So if you want more information about your underlying API and what it can do, you just jump over to essentially where you got it from. So for here, this is Appify and the YouTube Scraper. For me, I know what this means. So I'm just gonna do edit here. And instead of YouTube Scraper, da 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 da, we're just gonna say YouTube Scraper get data. This is how I'm gonna get the relevant title, thumbnail data and everything we'd want. So now that we have a nice little YouTube Scraper bot, let's add an additional API here, which we bump us, so we add API. Same process, y'all. So simply coming to the documentation here, we can click here, download JSON or YAML. We'll do JSON. I'm then going to drag it into here. We can name it. So we can do bump ups. We'll just do bump ups here. This is good. I'm going to continue. And here we go. We got six new tools. Continue. So now that we've added bump ups here, we can add this as additional actions. So if you recall, we created our MCP server of YouTube Scraper. That is going to be where we host all the different tools. If I come back over here to our tool set, we got bump ups and the original tool set of YouTube Scraper. If I wanna to add tools to my MCP server, I simply go to the YouTube Scraper MCP tool set and I say add tools. With that done, what you'll notice is that Bump Ups has all these tools we can select. I don't have to select all of them, but for the purposes of this video, we'll go ahead and do that. Now, here's one thing that you can identify right off the bat and this will make more sense to you now. Notice, Bump Ups create chat. What is this tool, Corbin? Where is this coming from? 
This is coming from our Bump Ups API and specifically the chat endpoint, create chat response. What we're functionally doing here is now giving this MCP server the ability to call this and get data like this. So nice, let's go ahead and add all these, add six tools. So what you notice is that once we add bump ups here, it does require us to add an environment variable. You might be asking yourself, Corbin, how do you know that? Is because if we go back to bump us API here, you can notice in the top right, it requires an API key to even do the call. This is like an open AI API key. This is like a Claude API key. It just tells the service provider in this context, bump ups, that yes, they have the rights to get the data relevant to what they're requesting. So to do this, we're gonna come to environments here. We'll select new environment, give it a name. So this is gonna be for that YouTube scraper. So YouTube data, we'll just call it. Submit, fill for tool set. As we just created that tool set together, YouTube scraper, fill variables. When it comes to the YouTube scraper server URL and the bump up server URL, usually we can leave these blank, not that big of a deal, but we need to fill in for this bump ups API key off. I'm gonna go and just paste it there. I know you can see it, but don't worry, I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna hit save, there we go. One big thing for you to know is that when you create more and more connections to other API servers, this is where you're gonna be putting those environment variables that are relevant if it's needed. Now, a lot of the times, because of the fact that if you're using this within Claude or Cursor, you kind of already have access to the AI model that way. So maybe you're not worrying too much about like, can I use my OpenAI API key here because it's already inherently part of the logic, right? The idea behind Gram and this MCP server is to really simplify your ability to integrate this into different workflows, specifically AI workflows, as you'll see here with a custom tool ability. It's pretty cool, so stay tuned. So what you'll notice is that we come to Playground here, we can check our tool set of YouTube Scraper. Nice. With the tool set selected here, you'll see all the relevant stuff. So this is the YouTube Scraper which we grabbed here from Appify. And then this is the bump ups, which we grabbed from the bump ups documentation. So now we've successfully created a self-hosted MCP server that's gonna be able to do any of these actions we request. So let's just do one real quick. I'm gonna make sure I select the environment of YouTube data that we set. I'm gonna say use bump ups create chat and ask what is the best part of this video? And the video we'll use is from Speakeasy introducing Graham. So what you'll notice here is gonna do the relevant call. Nice, we're gonna hit accept. I'm posting the data, I'm sending the data. And there we go, based on the video, which was introducing the Gram platform, as you can see here with the video and this title, introducing Gram, build agent tools that perform. We get the highlights of upload a spec, create a curated MCP tools and host in one click. So kind of deja vu as you're seeing it live right now as well. Point being though, now you can see functionally how we test the different API actions that we built in our MCP server. So in theory here, I could test ones from YouTube Scraper as well, but I'm gonna create a custom tool later on in this video to show you how we can kind of match and pair these which will lead back nicely to what you saw in the beginning of the video where we can actually connect all these different APIs and do really cool actions with them all automatically and let AI do the heavy lifting. But let's first off jump over to the MCP server, right? So we go to MCP here, click it. What does all of this mean? Well, first off, this is your link here, right? So you got Web Cafe AI, YouTube Grab. We're gonna reference this when we do our cursor integration together. Coming down here, we got visibility. Do you want it to be a publicly available URL? e.g. anyone can access this MCP? Or alternatively, do you want this as an internal facing tool? So keep it a private. Now let's get into the fun stuff here with the MCP installation and actually start using this outside of this environment. Let's go over here to view. We're gonna go ahead and click view. What Graham does out of the box, which is super cool, is that it shows you all these like easy plug and play ways to install across all these different platforms. Alternatively, if you wanna install this MCP, maybe into something that isn't shown above there, we can do it with this raw configuration. But I'm gonna show you today how to do it within Cursor. And then once I show you it working in Cursor, we're gonna create a custom tool together for a very specific action we can actually leverage in Cursor AI that will help us out when we're coding. So to add a Cursor, we're gonna simply go to add a client we can click cursor here or alternatively click it here. Once we add it, what's nice is it will automatically go here. We can name it. So we'll just call it YouTube Scraper. That's fine. It has all the information already put here, but the only thing that's needed from us as of now is going to be this last part here of MCP Bump Ups API. So we're gonna put this value here. Remember, this is the key, Z key, install. Now let me go ahead and help you out real quick, just in case you run into some errors on this part. First off, if you run into an error right away, it's like, it's not working, hit this pencil icon. You wanna ensure a couple things. First off, these are environment variables. Nice, we put that in together. Second off, this line right here, line seven. Fundamentally, extremely important that this URL is the URL you see here of hosted URL. It's this one right here. So you copy this and paste it here. Then it should work. Next, what you'll notice is that we have all nine tools enabled. I can click this and maybe we only want the chat feature. So we do this, 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 you know, we want to get data, that's nice. And then 
After that, we only have two tools enabled, e.g. the create chat and the scraping of the YouTube data. Creating a chat allows us to ask any type of prompt to get information on that YouTube video, and the scraping of the data allows us to get metadata like the title, duration, everything of this nature. Now, before we see it in action, I wanna show you one really cool thing that is an extra layer of specialization you can do with your MCP servers. If I come up here to tool set again, I go to the tool set of YouTube scraper, which you remember we set up earlier, I can go to any of these actions and give the context more AI of how to handle the relevant data. So for example, create chat. If I hit edit here and I go to edit description, this is the description. But this isn't just a you know front facing description. This description, it can actually be read by the AI model. Provide the video URL and an optimal prompt. If no prompt is provided, the API returns a summary of the video content. In theory here, you can add more brand guidelines or just more rules. So like, for example, if I wanted the responses to be more brief when it comes to using this specific tool, I would put all responses should be under four sentences and hit save. There's a lot more nuance here. So I'm gonna go ahead and also leave the docs to Graham in the description down below. So you can kind of search through here. Also, what's really nice about these docs, I love it. You go to search here, you can use the AI and essentially just find the exact information you're looking for. Gone are the days of Command F or Control F on your browser. Ask AI. Let's go to see it in action though. So here is our prompt. I need to learn more about this video. Provide the video link. This is about GitHub in 10 minutes. Use the MCP server YouTube scraper that we've identified here. Tool bump up chat and ask what is the most important idea to remember from this tutorial and use the YouTube scraper. Get data for the metadata on the video. Now what I'm gonna show you pretty soon here is how we can actually cause a chain reaction and really leverage this MCP to its max ability with custom tools using Gram. But for now, let's see it functionally work. Enter. One thing that's important is make sure you enable agent mode. I had to reset this chat, but agent mode is gonna allow us to actually leverage these MCP server. There we go, We're running the bump ups create chat, nice. It was able to run the YouTube scrape data MCP protocol as well. And here we go. So we got the metadata, how to use GitHub for beginners, nice. And then we got the most important idea, Treat the main branch as a stable source of truth and use branches and pull requests to make test and merge changes safely. This is true. Don't ever mess with the main branch that's in production. No good. That's just one small example of what we could do in Cursor AI. In theory, I could load a bunch of coding tutorials using YouTube links now, provide all that context using Gram MCP and grabbing the data that way, putting it into my chat, and then whenever I'm coding out, the code will be better because Cursor has more context. But let me show you something that I think a lot of y'all are gonna like. And this is called custom tools. So we're say create new custom tool. We're gonna use the tool set that we created, YouTube Scraper. And all we do here is just use regular dictation, just like we're talking to an AI model. I want you to scrape the YouTube link I provide and output the metadata of the video. What specific action do you want it to do first? Then use Bob Up Chat to ask for a summary of the video. We just paired two different APIs from two different providers and we can make a more candid hand. Toolify. So now within the MCP, we don't have to call each one separately. Rather, we have a new tool. I can rename this. YouTube, yes. And what YouTube yes does, and when I call it functionally in any application I use, is gonna do both those APIs in tangent. And to test this, we simply hit try now. It's gonna want the YouTube link, so I'm gonna paste it. And boom, we were able to get the relevant YouTube video metadata, and on top of that, the relevant summary from Bump Up's chat. Now fundamentally, you just learned that you can actually do a chain effect by using custom tools here where you can pair all these different APIs together. Therefore, an action you do with Instagram Scraper could pair with TikTok Scraper. All done in one command you make in your custom MCP. So that just about does today's video. Let me know what kind of MCP you plan on creating. Gram is pretty intuitive, y'all. It has support for a bunch of different languages, such as Python, TypeScript, Java, whatever you like to program in, it can handle. So go ahead and check out Gram. It's in the description down below. And as you already know, with these style of videos, I'll see you in the next. Can we now just create a custom MCP server that can do whatever we want, chain actions, and do anything that you could ever think of? Video, Gram, speakeasy. I love it.